All right, so welcome back and stuff. I'm wearing the, the black skate jersey because I knew that they were gonna be wearing the black skate tonight. Um, lovely wife again at the helm. Let's see if I can, there she, there she is, there she is. See how perky she is? Look at that, look at that. Perky with me, like perktastic. Uh, so tonight the Canucks played. Um, there were parts of the game I was very discouraged by. Uh, now what's interesting is the first period uh, the Coyotes only had two shots. Now, understandably, the Coyotes weren't playing well as a team. I think Andre Turney must have talked to them between the first and second period because it was a totally different team that came out for the second period. Uh, the Coyotes are a fast team. They are a talented team. They're not a playoff team. I'm not saying that they're a great team or anything, but... I, I do feel bad because I do think that there's a really good core there. There's some really good young players coming up. And if this team is headed for Salt Lake City, Utah is getting themselves a pretty good team. Um, now, Vancouver did get a point out of tonight. And I thought with how they played for long stretches, I was fine with that. I was fine with them getting a point. It was a 7.30 start, so it had to go to overtime. That is the rule. 7.30 starts go to overtime. Uh, uh, but yeah, it was it was long stretches of them not playing very well. I think that Quinn Hughes at times takes uh, shifts that are a little too long. Uh, when he coughed up the puck behind his own net there, that shift was about two minutes long. He can't be doing that. Uh, it, it, it really, it's that time of year where they, they have to get in sync. Uh, encouraging sign tonight, uh, Pedersen gets a goal. I thought he played well. I was getting mad at him for not shooting the puck more than he did, and then suddenly he starts shooting the puck, so... Hopefully that's a good sign. I know people are going to be upset that they didn't get the two points tonight, but uh, again, just just knowing the backdrop of what's going on, just knowing that they were playing against a team that I'm sure was distracted. Like I saw posts today online about how the wives and families of these players now are trying to figure out what's going to happen next year. Or, you know, are they going to sell their house? They're going to have to move, all this stuff. And not really knowing for sure what's going on has to be bothering the players because they're on the road. And it has to be harder for this news to come out when they're on the road. Um, so full credit to the Arizona Coyotes for playing well in the second, playing pretty well in the third. Uh, they withstood some, some barrages from the Canucks. Uh, it wasn't an overly exciting game, nor would I say it was an overly well-played game by either team for the full 60 minutes, but it was an entertaining third, entertaining second. Uh, there was a, a penalty shot in the overtime, so, and, and when I heard it was Hronik getting the, 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 the penalty shot, because I didn't see who got tripped on the breakaway, I just knew there was a penalty shot coming. Uh, in the back of my mind, I thought, uh, I, I don't know if, if Rona can bury this, and he didn't. Uh, I thought Connor Ingram had a pretty good game. Um, I know he allowed three goals. Uh, Shelovs is doing the best he can, but the Canucks really need Demko back. Um, I do think if Demko was in the net tonight, they would have won it. Um, so I, I, would, I would go that far. They get the one point. They would have had two if Demko's in net. I do have tremendous concern that we're less than a week and a half from the start of the playoffs, and Demko has still not played a game yet. Uh, this is not a Canucks team that I think gets out of the first round if they don't have Demko. I don't know if they're going to get out of the first round anyways. I, I don't know. Um, I'm glad that we're finally talking about the Canucks being a playoff team. I'm glad that they finally, next season, will have something to build on. I do hope for success come playoff time, but I'm realistic about it. It is not that easy to turn that switch back on. And there, it, there's just, there's there's some overpassing that's going on. I think there's a lack of confidence from them at times, and yet they still get the point. So if they start playing well, I, I do think that they can play well come playoff time as well. Um, and, it, you know, I, I did see posts like, oh, it's loser talk to say you don't have expectations for the team. It's not. Now, if the players themselves were saying we don't have any expectations and we're just glad to be here, fine. But as a fan, for me to say it, it has no impact on the team whatsoever. It's just me saying I uh, my expectations for this season were low. They've exceeded those expectations. And there's a lot of good here. There's a lot to build on. So I'm not of the mind that if they don't do well in the playoffs, well, that's it, they're screwed and they're gonna go back to being a terrible team. 
Um, I don't think that's going to be the case. I think that they've got the right coach. I think they've got the right GM. And I think they got the right captain. And that core is really, really solid. Um, I did enjoy the game tonight. Was frustrated for stretches, especially when they were down 3-1. to one. That really frustrated me because, again, I, I know how they can play. I, I did wonder, like, for the Canucks, being against a team that's going through all this, like, could that be a distraction for just everybody? It has to be a bizarre set setup, right? You're playing against a team who, in all likelihood, are probably getting moved next week. The announcement could be on April 18th. When, they're, when their schedule's done, that's it, right? So if, if that's the case, it's going to be on their minds, but until we know for sure what's going on, it's going to be on their minds. And for teams playing against them, it has to cross your mind as well. Uh, so I, I, I will say for the Coyotes, if that's the last time that I see them play as the Coyotes, I've enjoyed watching Coyotes games. We've seen the Coyotes live four times, three times in Vancouver, uh, once in Anaheim. And that's the first time I've seen the Coyotes win when I've seen them live. So maybe it's me. Maybe it's my fault. Anyways, uh, but yeah, I I was I was appreciative of the point tonight. I was appreciative that Pedersen had a good game. Um, I I thought there were some near misses there. There were some moments where uh, Ingram made some nice saves here and there too. Uh, and the second period, Arizona just owned it. Arizona was was the better team in the second period and for stretches of the third as well. Um, I I really think Turney probably gave him a bit of a talking to and said, look. You know, there's nothing we can do about what's going on at home and, and go out there and, and try to win this game. Because it was scoreless after one. The game was right there for them, right? So uh, I, I will say this too. I, I think that's the most people I've ever had talk to me at a game. The most the most nice people who've, who've turned around and, hey, you're the hockey guy. And every time I went up or down the aisle, um, I think there were three selfies I took tonight. Might have been four. Um so I, I appreciate that. I, I really, really do. I'm really glad I got to see some people at the game tonight. If I didn't catch you, then come out to the meetups. We're going to be having the floor, the street hockey meetups. I was going to say floor hockey, but street hockey meetups again. Once we get to playoff time, there's usually some days there where I can, you know, go out and play some street hockey before the hockey starts. Um, so I'm going to be looking for any, any time on the schedule I can find. I even saw one of the guys I saw there tonight uh, is from meetups. Our goalie, our goalie, our goalie was there, so uh, that was fun. Glad to see him there and everything. And so, yeah. And I, I, I broke my own rule tonight. I broke my own rule tonight. Um, I don't get goal pucks. I've talked about how I don't buy goal pucks. Tonight, I went against my own rule. I bought a goal puck. Um, I, I bought this goal puck because it's, it's a Vegas goal in Vancouver, but it's unique because it's a goal by Teddy Bluger from Brad Howden and Nicholas Haig. Let me just get this so it's readable on camera. That's the glare. Everything there. You guys see that? There you go. But uh, yeah, so that's fun. So I don't know where I'm going to put this. Um, but what's neat too is I realized when I open this up that it's it's got like the sensors in it and stuff that the NHL pucks have in them. So that's kind of fun. I'm not cutting it open. I'm not. I'm not one of those YouTubers that's going to buy something to destroy it. I do not understand that. I think it's sad. I think when a YouTuber buys something and they just blow it up, I'm like, what are you doing? You're ruining everything for the rest of us. Don't do that. So, uh, yeah, but that pucks, that's fun. Teddy Bluger, of course, one of my favorite players, and uh, he had some chances tonight. Um, I think it's an affinity for guys who wear 53, though. I've, I've realized if a player wears 53, he's probably one of my favorite players. Maybe this summer I'll do a video looking at the numbers players wear and whether or not there's a... Um, certain numbers I like the best. The one thing I noticed too, and I'm, I'm going to say this, there are a lot of Arizona Coyote players I like. So I realized by about the fourth player that I, I told Yvonne about, I was like, hey, there's a lot of Coyote players I like. There really are. There's a lot of guys that I think are really good. Michelli needs to shoot the puck more. Uh, Lawson Krause is a beast out there. Uh, really like Keller. Schmaltz, I will never say a bad word about Schmaltz. Love his game too. Um, We'll see how that team looks if it moves to Salt Lake City. Um, I, I know if if when that day comes, I'll talk about it. But I, I also I'm I'm aware that there are fans of the Coyotes, and when people say who there aren't fans of the Coyotes, that was what people that's what people said too with Vancouver when they lost the Grizzlies. 
remember there were some, not in Vancouver, but people were like, ah, they didn't really get all that much support anyways. Well, the Vancouver Grizzlies were a poorly run team and then they left. And it feels like the Arizona Coyotes have had a much longer experience, but the team for the most part has been poorly run. I think they're actually being run pretty well right now in terms of the on ice product. Um, I think ownership failed them. I think ownership failed them. And like the Tempe vote, there should have been something that was a backup at that exact time. So they go, okay, the Tempe vote went the other way. We're going to do this instead. And, and instead it's dragged and dragged and dragged. So um, it's it's too bad if, if we lose the Coyotes from that perspective because there are fans. There are people who rooted for the team. There are people who bought the tickets. They're not as plentiful as fans of other teams, but they're there. And so um, I do feel for those people. I really do. Uh, but anyways, uh, enjoyable game if you were there. I hope you enjoyed it yourself. Uh, don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're just browsing your way through and, and you're watching this video. I, why is everybody going so fast? I know. You're not driving slow. I am under the speed limit though. But they're, they're, they're fast. I know. People drive fast at night and I drive slow at night. It just, so. it just, anyways, it's just one of, just, just something I just, something I'm sorry, shouldn't have been part of the video. Just pretend it's not there. Just ninja dust. All right, uh, but thanks guys for watching. Greatly appreciated. And that's the last Vancouver game I'm going to. Uh, I will be going to an Abbotsford game next Friday, yes. which is the only day of no NHL hockey before the playoffs. That's it. Thursday's the last day of the regular season, and then Saturday it's the playoffs. So there's not much time for me to do all the preview stuff necessarily. We'll see. Uh, it definitely looks like all the races are just going to go down to the last night. So I will be doing the review when I get home, the, the full review of all three games. But uh, thank you guys so much for all your support. I will talk to you again soon.